right here, what you're looking at is a 1000% win on a square option from a chart that I posted on a free live stream that had five thousand views a lot of people made tons of money in this video i'm going to teach you exactly how to find your own thousand percent win in an options trade let's go Again, if you don't believe me, it's mind blowing how many people made money on the square option, 528%. Still half of what that guy could have sold it for. So you have to scale out slowly with these options. Right here, $1,000 in one single day for 400% return. You can't find these types of returns everywhere on the internet. There's a specific strategy that I'm gonna teach you right now. And if you're pumped to hear this strategy, subscribe, like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you wanna take a chance trading with me, hit the link below seven days for free. And this is that strategy. Number one, we're gonna gauge the overall market index direction because we can't get into any trades unless we know that. Number two, once we know that direction, we can figure out the best setups, find all the market best setups and enter whatever one looks like it's primed to break out. And once we find the best setup, we have to choose the right option because if you choose the wrong one, you're gonna miss out on at least 100 to 500% return choosing the wrong option. Number four, you gotta pick options out of the money, which we'll talk about, and we have to use the weeklies. And then number five, we have to scale out slowly. Nobody understands this. This is the one determining factor of if you have that 1000% winner in your account. So let's go over all of this in depth like we do in every video. But let's get into it, traders. Number one, gauging market direction. This is so important. Nobody really understands why though. So number one, there's a lot of charts out there that are index charts. You gotta pay attention to them. They're the SPY, the Triple Q, the IWM, and there's a lot of other ones out there. The XLF, the XLK. A lot of these indexes just tell you where the overall market's going. If you don't know where the overall market's going, you could be fighting the market direction, which is an easy way to lose tons of money. We have to go with market direction. Think of it like gravity. If you're trying to fight gravity, it's an uphill battle. We don't want uphill battles with trading. We want to roll downhill with our profits with gravity on our backs pushing us. So again, when we're looking at the index, all we're trying to say is, hey, what are we doing? Up, down, or sideways? If it's sideways, this strategy does not work. We can't take this strategy if the market is chopping. That's what we call it, chopping sideways. But right here, we had a double bottom this week. We were bullish the whole week. At that point, you would have been a fool to take any bearish plays. As you can see, double bottom, every single day we went up in the market. So once you see a pattern like this, a great double bottom, a wedge, a trend line, whatever pattern is telling you the market's going up, that's the direction you wanna play or the pattern that's going down. So what we try to do is draw trend lines, support resistance, even triangles. I'm gonna delete all of this. I'm just gonna draw three simple patterns just to show you how I generally look at the market. So we're gonna to head to trading view, pull up the trend line indicator. So I'm curious guys, why haven't you grabbed my free option trading course in the link in the bio? Pull up the trend line tool and then connect the bottoms or the tops of the chart. So the bottom over here could be to connect the next bottom, the next bottom, the next bottom. So over here, we just have a tremendous bull run. We call this staircasing. It's staircasing higher and higher and higher. And then once we break that trend line, guess what? That's a bear run now or sideways movement. So what we're looking for now is can we play this downtrend or can we play the bottom of it? So again, it's another trend line. We could draw a channel and this is a channel you could have played. So it's another great pattern. You could also draw the tops of the market. So just connect the tops of candlesticks. Once you see the top of the market, you know where you should be scaling out of, you know where there's some resistance. We don't really want to continue on our positions when we see this resistance. One more setup we use all the time is a wedge. So right here, as you can see, the market's getting tight, 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 and then gaps up outside the wedge here. So wedges are great patterns patterns to play breakouts from. That's the key in this video. This pattern, this breakout pattern, a wedge, a triangle is going to help you make that thousand percent much easier. So again, just connect the tops of the market or the bottoms of the market and you're going to get your trend lines. So again, right there is another one. Even if you scale out to the weekly or the daily, you're going to see a lot of different patterns and different trend lines that you wouldn't normally see on the different time frames. But one more setup right here is in a bearish drop in the market, we have this trend line that is pushing us down. So when we see this, whenever we hit the resistance, we're looking for bearish positions. When we see this upward trend line here, whenever we hit the support, we're looking for calls or other bullish plays in the market. So that is going to help us 
make that thousand percent. So that's number one. Number two, we wanna find a killer setup. It could be the index. The index options do move thousand percent a lot of times because they expire on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm gonna show you an example. If you type in on Robinhood SPY and you pull up the option chain, you're gonna see you have a lot of different expiration dates for the SPY. So if you find a really tight pattern, a tight movement, you can make a thousand percent pretty easily. So July 6th, the 8th, the 10th, the 13th. Basically every two days you have options expiring. And if you haven't yet, make sure you grab my two books, Bulletproof Recession Proof Setups, link in the bio, only three bucks. Why this matters is because the options have the least amount of time on it and the most amount of delta, which means for every dollar move, you're maximizing the PL that you can make. So right here, as you can see, theta is 26 and we have Delta being 47. I'm just gonna show you a real quick example. So these options are July 6th. Those are five days out. It's a while out, but still. What you're looking at here is a 10% loss per day, but we're not holding these options for longer than one to two days. We're basically holding them up until expiration, one, maybe even 48 hours. We're right here at 10% loss, and if we go up $1, what we're gonna make is 20%. So if we get a $1 move in the index, that's 20%. If we get a $5 move in the index, it's a lot more. These 311 options would be worth all the way down here, 306. $585 from a $240 option. So that's 100% return just about. But again, like I'm showing you right here, it's July 6th. The date right now is July 1st. So these options unfortunately have a ton of time on it and wouldn't fit the criteria. What we're looking for is options expiring one to two days away. It's very risky. The strategy is so, so, so risky for beginners. But this is the way of how, how you can make a thousand percent. Even putting ten dollars in, a hundred bucks in could turn into a hundred or a thousand. So a small amount could be huge if you find the right setups and you play this. So these are called lotto plays or YOLOs. You don't YOLO all your money, but just a small amount in case you're right and you get that big paycheck. But again, this is five days out. We're looking for options one to two days out on the expiration date. So I'm just gonna scroll up to options a little bit further out to show you how dramatic it is and how you can't make a thousand percent with options even 30 days out or 10 days out. So for those three 11s we were looking at, if I click the drop down, we see theta is 19. It's less per day and percentage wise, it's a lot less. It's about five-ish percent, four percent per day you're losing and you're making about 10% up. So for a $1 move in the stock, what we're making is 10% instead of 20% because we're using options with more time on it. The more time you put on, the less money you make. So that's why as a trader in my professional trading group, we don't use options more than 14 days out because I only pick plays that are ready to go. Like I showed you in the beginning of this video, that square setup ran hard and it ran quick. And if you use options expiring the next couple days, it ran for a thousand percent. We only put up charts that are ready to fly. With options, you need charts to fly quick or else time decay is gonna eat you alive. So let's move on to number two, find a killer setup. What does that look like? How do we make a thousand percent from a setup and what setups work best? Great question. So let's go to SQ. Perfect example, and we'll show you the chart that ran that produced this thousand percent return. So this is before it actually moved. I'm gonna play this chart and it's gonna replay it and it's gonna show you how it reacts to this pattern. So this is a huge uptrend. If I scale out to the weekly, daily, four hour, you always have to start here if you really want to get into a play and understand the gravity of the situation or the gravity of where it could go. Major support, major resistance. As you can see, square from top to bottom, just a massive, massive move, about $36 all the way up to $101. So just straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up. And now we are almost pushing to new highs again this week. So this is one of my favorite option trading strategies, the back spread with puts or calls. And this is in my option domination course, which comes with one month in my trading group. Grab it, link in the bio. We're bullish, we're moving higher. You don't wanna short that momentum. And if the index is bullish, you can play this setup. Again, if the index is bearish, we don't really see bullish setups running as much. It can still run, but the profit from it is going to be less. So as I scroll in, as you're seeing, we just have a perfect flag here. And a flag is a breakout pattern. 
anything that consolidates into a triangle is basically moving towards an apex breakout, which is the biggest breakout you can find in the stock market. Wedges, triangles, all of those patterns hit the apex and really move. We don't know if it's up or down, but when it does move and you get in the right place, you can make a ton of money. So now we know the past is bullish, the index is bullish. Now we know this chart is ready to break. This would be something I'd be looking to enter. Let me just press play and show you how it reacts to this pattern though. So as you can see, the market's gonna open and as we start moving, we just get closer and closer to the apex, which is the side or the end of the triangle over here. So towards the apex, we usually get that breakout. So gapped up. That's the most important part about this strategy. We need to enter towards the close of the market because we could get a gap up. And a gap up could be three, four, 500%, depending on your pattern and the extent of the gap up. So right here, we went from 104, 105, all the way to 115. That's a 10% move in a $100 stock. If you look at the options I posted, that was 1,000%, all because we found an apex tight breakout pattern. So that is one setup I love, and that's one setup that worked out for my group. Next up, once we have this setup, here's the options we're looking for. What we wanna do is go to whatever platform you're on and use the options that are expiring the soonest. And we only wanna look for these setups on Wednesday or Thursday. Reason being is because they have the least amount of time decay because they're expiring in a couple days. When you use options expiring a couple days, they really move quickly when you nail the move. Just for example, the options even nine days out, so nine days from today, are up 500%. 500% for options nine days out. So you can just imagine the options expiring tomorrow are up a lot more. Double that, 1,000, maybe even 1,500% return at this point. So again, this is July 10th, it's nine days out. I'm only looking for options that are one to two days away from expiration. So I'm looking, in this case, I'd be looking for the July 2nd or the July 3rd options. And that just allows me to, again, maximize the amount I can make because there's the least amount of time on my contracts and the most amount of delta if you're looking at the percent of it. And when you get that dollar move, you really can make 100% quickly and 200% quickly when you get a two, three dollar move. So that's strategy number three, enter weekly options on Wednesday and Thursday towards the close of the market. It's very, very important traders. If you're entering this in the morning, there's a lot of volatility. You might've missed the whole setup if it gaps. We're trying to play the gap. We're trying to make money from things gapping. So we have to enter our setups towards the close because here's the thing. If you enter it in the morning, what you're gonna get is a lot of possible sideways movement. And if that happens, your contracts could lose 50 to 70% of their value from it trading sideways. And what that means for you as a trader is you could have entered later that day at the exact same price and saved yourself 50, 70%. And if it gaps the next day, you didn't start behind 50, 70%. You started at break even, which is nice. That's why you don't enter things Wednesday and Thursday at the open only at the close because we know that morning volatility is precious. If we can profit from it and find it in the right direction, we can see our options just balloon in the right way. So again, that is how we pick the options. What we wanna do next is find the options OTM, which is out of the money, and this is very, very risky traders. This is something I don't really recommend, but if you really wanna make 1,000%, 1,500%, and you're willing to risk it, like throw that money away, burn it, you don't care about it. If this is money you're basically hoping for a huge move, you can pick options, what we call out of the money. So out of the money could be over here for 129, 128. Those are super, super far out of the money. So we need another 11% move just for this option to break even. All that means is for us to get out with no loss, maybe even a profit, we need more than an 11% move for this option way, way, way far out of the money. Just for reference, Square's trading at 115. For us to hit 129, it's gonna be a massive move up here. So I'm gonna scale the chart and you can't even see 129, but that's 129. So you need to hit this point up here to break even. And it's gonna tell you on Robinhood the exact level. It's gonna be 129.58. So once you hit that level, you break even. But it's a huge move 
from another huge move that just happened. Every month, we release a limited quantity of trading t-shirts like this bull and bear battle t-shirt. Hit them up below me. And just for reference, the actual option I showed you in the beginning of this video was a 109 strike price call. So if I hit square, we were trading at 105 at the close. For you to choose 109, you would have had to assume we gapped up above all time highs and moved about four dollars so that is a massive move to come from so i'm just showing you how risky it is basically so this is the triangle the white line is where we need to break even so for us to make that thousand percent as i'm showing you here we would have to choose the 109 which is five points higher and it's just crazy to think that's actually going to happen so these are just really crazy moves that you don't expect and go way past the levels you thought were possible so going that far out of the money is definitely a gamble. It doesn't happen every time towards expiration, but when it does, like we showed you, those out of the money options do end up gaining a lot of value and can make you a thousand percent. So 109 was touched, which is crazy enough, but then we went to 116. So those options out of the money actually went in the money by a lot, which is amazing and mind blowing. But next up, this is huge. Not many traders understand this, but you have to scale out slowly. So when you buy those 109 options, and I'm just gonna show you this one more time on the screen, they were only trading at down here, $32. And I looked it up earlier. The bottom of this candle the previous day was $32. They gapped up to about $60, so 100% return instantly. And then they ran to 150, 300, even 560 at the highs. So for 32 bucks, you probably should be buying a couple contracts because if it's really going to balloon, you want to profit and lock in something just to make sure you're not losing money. In a really risky play, you never want to keep all your profits on the table. You want to slowly take them off, pay yourself, make sure your initial investment is in your pocket so you're not risking that and at least you're playing with just the profits. So for 32 bucks, if you bought down here, you could have bought three contracts the next day, woke up for 100% return. You could have scaled out two thirds of them or even one of them and then one of them would be free that last free contract you can let run the whole day just let it run close to expiration that's the key because if we let it run close to expiration who knows how far it could go so for my traders personally i always tell them to scale out at certain levels we just had one trade run for 118 percent which is s fix later in that day it ran for 200 percent but if you scaled out everything at 30 percent or even 50 percent you would have never realized the gains from these 100, 200% plays. So you always want to scale portions out at key levels. For me personally, 30% is a hard level to achieve and 50% is a hard level to achieve. So whenever we hit those levels, I always tell my traders scale some out and this is one text I sent out to my traders SFIX hitting our first paycheck zone of 30% I tell them to sell some there next is 50 next is 100 and we did hit 50 that day and we were close to 100 so at this point my traders should have gotten two paychecks one for 30% one for 50% in one single trade and again we always leave some on the table to see how far it can actually run because when you get a setup like this and momentum like this there's no telling how much further the option can go and how much further the stock can go. So that's how you make 1,000% in one single trade. If you want to learn how to make $1,000 per day, check the video to the right of me. Peace. In this video, I'm going to teach you a step-by-step -step option trading strategy to bring in not $100 and not $200 but to bring in a whopping total of $1,000 trading options. This strategy I reserve for my premium options.